Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. We're built for this. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha Conquer Outdoors. CF Moto is one of North America's fastest growing ATV and side-by-side -side brands, and this is largely due to an excellent mix of quality, performance, and price. Last season, they introduced their win zone marketing strategy, and to be perfectly honest, at first, I really didn't understand it. So I decided to visit Maxim Motorsports in Oakville, Ontario, one of CF Moto's flagship wind zone dealerships to find out how they've been utilizing the wind zone model to become one of North America's largest and fastest growing CF Moto dealers in only their first year of business. We were three partners with a lot of experience in the uh, corporate world, and we wanted to get into a business venture that involved fun and excitement uh, and serving clients who were just as excited and passionate about our products as we were. So what's unique about Maxim Motorsports Oakville location? We've got about 5,000 square feet of showroom space. Uh, we try and keep most uh, models and color choices available in stock so that clients can come on in, touch and feel them, uh, make sure they're making a, a choice for the machine that they ultimately uh, want to take home with them. We've also dedicated another 5,000 square feet to uh, service, uh, parts and accessories. Uh, again, to keep a uh, well-stocked inventory so customers can uh, come in and get what they need when they need it. In addition to that, uh, we've provided clients with a uh, driving experience on-site through a, uh, a dirt track uh, that not only provides them with uh, a few hills and a few bumps and a few quick turns so they can really get a feel for what uh, the CF Moto product can do. CF Moto's marketing strategy is to build the brand across Canada. And to that end, we're on a major push to open dealerships across Canada. We're currently at 75 active dealerships. Now, a lot of people say, well, what is WinZone? WinZone is community. And we say, what does that mean by community? It means all of us. And for us, it means giving back. So part of the WinZone community, as an example, is every year we sponsor the Do It For Dads prostate cancer run. This year we ran at Perry Sound and we supported that event and there were 100 participants. Other things that we've done for the wind zone community is put up trail signs up north in the Muskoka area. We literally put up hundreds of signs at our own expense and they're reflective so that we make sure people don't get lost at night. What makes a wind zone dealer obviously is the product. Now the product is the CF Moto ATVs, the side-by-sides, and what we like to call bike units. And part of that dealership is of course their own local sign and brand name because a lot of these guys are known in the community. So again, that's the wind zone community. So when we brand the dealership, we do have the CF Moto brand up on the signage because that is the product but we also make sure to include wind zone because we want wind zone to be all encompassing. So Maxim Motorsports uh, Oakville has uh, encompassed the wind zone branding, not just through our uh, decor and scheme throughout the dealership uh, when you walk in. Uh, what you'll also find is uh, educated staff, very friendly service. The wind zone experience provides clients with first-hand approach on being able to ride the machines, test ride them, get out into our, uh, some of our event rides. Uh, most of our dealerships are connected to uh, local riding clubs such as uh, Quad Niagara, where we can get our clients out uh, to specific events. WinZone also provides a marketing platform to reach out to uh, clients through uh, paraphernalia and shirts and hats and jackets uh, that all promote not just WinZone but the CF Moto brand. So what's unique about uh, CF Moto and WinZone in terms of uh, client experience is through CF Moto's extended warranty program, uh, machines are made available to our clients on a concierge service so that if their machines do break down or have to come in for any extended service, a replacement machine is provided to them so they can uh, make that planned ride or still enjoy the upcoming weekend with their family and there's no inconvenience to our clients. So what Maxim Motorsports is all about and what we're trying to achieve is uh, creating a client experience in 
learning about CFMoto, buying a machine, the community that uh, CFMoto is providing through WinZone, and something that a lot of the other dealerships aren't providing is our hands-on approach to educating on the machine, providing that first-hand try before you buy experience. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by MVRP Power Sports, race-inspired performance. When a customer enters a wind zone dealer, it may depend on the size of the community. In some cases, the dealer may have other brands or may sell other things such as aluminum boats, uh, outboard motors, and so forth. What we strive for in the larger centers, though, is to have a strong presence like we see at the flagship location here. This location is the model for all the stores to follow. When the client enters the store, uh, what they should experience is the wind zone experience and to that end we uh, we work with the dealers we have store designers and we also have an agency that helps them with the look and feel of their store by and large we want the person to have a brightly lit showroom to see a number of models there and also to uh, see some of our marketing paraphernalia also to that end we encourage the dealers to have family ride days and cookouts and so forth and we come out there and we do support them on that. It's all about the customer having a good experience. While we're here at Maxim Motorsports we got a chance to check out two brand new CF Moto models for 2019 and I thought why not take the opportunity to show our Dirt Tracks viewers what's new, what's different, what's exciting about them. So let's go take a look. So the first new model I want to look at is the U-Force 1000 three-seat utility side-by-side, -side, and this thing is beautiful. Uh, there are so many features on this thing we haven't seen from CF Moto just yet, and features that make it extremely competitive in the 1000 three-seat utility class against things like a Ranger 1000 or a Defender. First of all, it's beautiful. Painted plastics look incredible, aluminum wheels. It's just a really nice looking ATV. It's obviously a three seater. So that's something CF Moto hasn't produced to date. The interior of the U-Force 1000 is really, really nice, top notch. It's got features like a fold down armrest in the middle, something I personally love and you don't see on all vehicles in this class. It's got new switch gear that just feels nice and tight, tilt steering, in included storage in the dash. The passenger seat flips up and has an included removable toolbox that's watertight underneath the passenger seat. So many things about the interior of this vehicle that we haven't seen from CF Moto and some stuff you haven't seen from anybody. All CF Moto vehicles besides their base base models come included with a winch so you don't have to buy that later. This vehicle even has a two inch hitch receiver on the front which is so cool and something again nobody else has. But the real magic happens here in the back. This is the largest cargo box ever offered on a, on a CF Moto side-by-side. -side. It's got a one-hand tailgate that's smooth as butter. Uh, lots of tie-down points inside, tie-down points on the outside. This cargo box is very, very good quality. Better than many that we've seen over the years from other brands. The roll cage has got integrated mounting systems for your doors and your windshields. Can't say enough about this vehicle and how much I think it's going to really be a winner in the industry. The next 2019 model we got a chance to check out is this Seaforce 800 XC. And in terms of two up ATVs, this is a really nice one. I mean, there's no question about it. Again, comes with a winch installed from the factory. You don't have to buy that. Under storage in the front rack, comes with hand guards, power steering, really beautiful wheels and tire package on here. I mean, there's no, no question that's high quality stuff. The two-up seat is really what's important though on these, obviously on a two-up ATV, your passenger's comfort is very important. And this is maybe one of the nicest king-queen seat setups that I've seen in this industry ever. Uh, this is also removable if you want to add storage box in the back. Um, we got a beautiful gauge package, you know, just a lot of features in this vehicle that I think um, CF Moto has been missing in some of their vehicles and just an ultra high quality product that I think is going to sell and at its price point, the value quotient is through the roof. Seaforce 800 XC is not just 
the old C-Force two-up model with some new features. It's an all new chassis design. So this is actually a brand new vehicle. And one of the most interesting parts about it is the trailing arm rear suspension. It comes with super high quality, fully adjustable shocks. I think the ride quality from this vehicle is gonna be stellar. Of course, we won't know until we get a full ride on it, but um, that's an important thing to note that this isn't just an updated model, this is an all new vehicle. We didn't get a chance to really ride these things or put them through their paces in any significant way. Um, but I promise we will have full reviews and full test rides on these things in the future. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Shock Strap, Start Strapped, Stay Strapped. This is the third installment of the RS1 rock crawling build, and it's coming to an end. But before we head out on the rocks to see exactly how good of a job we did, I want to shed some light on the situation. No, I'm being serious. I want to shed some serious light on just about everything ahead of us. And to do this, I'm gonna continue with my easy to install dealer available parts. But one thing I gotta keep in mind is that this Polaris RS1 is equipped with the new Polaris bus bar system. By this, I mean that you're gonna to need to account for the proper wiring harness for the lights that you're using. Sure, all the new stuff from Polaris and Pro Armor have the proper plugs to mesh with the wiring harness, but there are a bunch of wiring harness options, so make sure that you do just a little bit of research. Worst case scenario, all of the Pro Armor lights like I'm installing today come with both the Polaris plug and then also a positive and negative lead so that you can make up your own wiring harness should you need to. Seeing as we have the bus bar on the RS1, I wanted to all go on quickly, so I picked up two full wiring harnesses and one harness splitter. Up front on the RS1, we'll be installing a pair of the 2x2 cube LED floodlights to fill the sides of the trail with light and illuminate anything that might get missed by the stock headlights. These floodlights really throw a wide light pattern, plus they can be easily adjusted to put the light right where you want it. The front bumper is perfect for mounting the cubes and the harness goes in with ease, utilizing the Polaris 1 into 2 splitter that allows you to operate two lights from a single switch. It's all plug and play, and because of the bus bar, requires absolutely zero battery leads at all. Now secondly, I wanna open up the middle of the trail with a focused spot of light because that's where when I'm riding at night, my eyes are gonna be most of the time. The Pro Armor 10 inch dual row spotlight will fill the center of the trail just right when linked with the stock headlights and the two x two cubes. It'll absolutely open up the forest or campsite no matter how dark the evening. We use the same wiring harness as we did for the front cubes, so no splicing or battery leads. And this time, because it's only a single plug, we don't need to use the two splitter cable. The frame on the RS1 is pre-drilled for running our harness through it, so there's very little to zip tie or hide, and it all looks super tidy when we're finished up. Plus, it only took a matter of minutes to put all of this stuff on, and I didn't have to search for the battery, install a relay or a fuse, take off the battery leads or anything. Just snap in the switch, plug in the bus bar, plug in the lights. This is an industry first, but you can be sure it'll be something other manufacturers are gonna try to copy. Now that I've got everything installed, I don't just wanna sit back and look at it. I wanna get out to Ray's place and see exactly what I've accomplished and find out just how this thing handles out on the rocks. First things first, the wheel and tire package isn't making any noticeable difference in clearance, but the tires are way, way grippier than the stalkers. I mean, these things are grabbing hard at just about everything they come in contact with. While I hope to not use the Pro Armor bead locks, they are there for extra protection when running really low pressure or for hard contact with rocks. The skid plates are getting a good bit of abuse, and while the arms are one area that you should always try to avoid hard contact whenever possible, the trailing arms are really getting thrashed. The UHMW plastic doesn't come apart like lightweight plastic, and you can literally beat this stuff into the rocks and it won't tear or rip, and actually slides and doesn't grind down your momentum. While I'm hoping to not have to test out the strength of our rear bumper, the front bumper is doing a great job of keeping the winch in the right place for when the climb gets too aggressive or when I'm just not sure that I can make it and don't want to end up on my roof. The 4,500 pound HD rapid recovery winch is really nice for crawling by yourself too. Sure, I could wrap the rope around the bumper, but if it gets loose, I could get it stuck in an axle. So with the five times faster recovery, I just put it away each time. Then I know it's not going anywhere it shouldn't, and I'm not draining the battery by running the winch for minutes on end, getting the synthetic rope back in. One addition that almost always goes unnoticed is the rock slide steps. I mean, they are so seamlessly integrated and they fit so perfectly, I just expect that they're stock. But they have taken a few hits and are staying very sturdy, allowing me to use them as a slider. While the roof and shorty windshield have kept the occasional precipitation off of me, they too seem to integrate so seamlessly that I almost don't notice that they're there. The lights we installed earlier today are gonna to be great for night riding and really fill in the trail, especially at dusk. All in all, I feel that I truly changed the attitude and focus of the RS1, and I know that I've got a vehicle and accessory combo that's gonna keep me riding later into the night, more aggressively, and with less potential damage, no matter the terrain I find myself. 
Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Argo. Go anywhere. Remember when you were a kid, the excitement you felt on Christmas Eve? You knew something great was waiting for you, but you just didn't know what it was. This is exactly how I felt about the Wildcat XX. Textron has had all the resources necessary to build a mind-blowing pure sport side-by-side, -side, and we've been waiting a long time for them to do it. Now, we have the Wildcat XX, and it's time to find out if it's as good as it is good looking. It's suspended on a set of Fox 2.5 Podium QS3s that are damping 18 inches of unequal length double A arm travel up front and 18 inches of trailing arm travel out back. A 998cc triple produces 125 horsepower and the whole thing rolls on a set of 15 inch KMC wheels wrapped in 30 inch CST behemoth tires. The most important aspect of the new Wildcat XX, the thing Textron absolutely had to get right, was the motor. And they definitely got it right. The Yamaha produced 998cc dual overhead cam triple makes 125 horsepower in this configuration. It is not turbocharged, but before you get all uptight about that, consider this. No, this vehicle doesn't compete against Razor and Maverick turbos but it does compete against the non-turbo motors, and in those categories, it has the most horsepower. So it's not a turbo, but it's definitely no slouch. In fact, this thing rips. Excellent off the bottom, smooth and linear mid-range that finishes with a crisp yet bold top end and shifts out in the high 70s. Our only complaint here is with the clutching. Slow, almost sticky back shifting causes the engine to get bogged down in places like deep sand. This will very likely be addressed in 2019, though. Suspension-wise, the XX is nothing short of incredible, and I don't say that lightly. With 18 inches of travel, on paper, it's not on par with Razors and Mavericks, but in the real world, it feels every bit as good, if not a little bit better. The front suspension design is fairly standard, with a massive set of unequal length double A arms. The rear suspension is pretty unique, though. While it is a trailing arm design, it's not like its competitors. Instead of using a long arm mounted to a single pivot for the trailing arm itself, the XX's trailing arms are Y-shaped and have two mounting points up front. This means it can do without the locator links traditionally found on a trailing arm setup, which saves weight and complexity, eliminates scrub, and according to Textron, is more durable. One thing I know for sure, it works. Travel is so plush and honestly feels bottomless. In the whoop slow, this suspension combination feels more controlled and inspires more confidence than anything else I've ever driven. The drivetrain inspires confidence as well, thanks to a beefy Team Industries transaxle and front gear case. Durable parts built up and designed to take all the abuse these massive 30-inch behemoth tires can dish out. The interior of the XX is an interesting mix. It's the largest interior of any sport side-by-side -side to date, which is great. I have tons of room to stretch out. The seats are excellent, well-bolstered, perfectly reclined, and adjustable. The roll cage is basically an aftermarket cage, but included from the factory with its arched shape and pre-installed intrusion bars. These standard equipment full doors are amazing. In my opinion, the best factory-included doors in the industry. The frame member hidden underneath this panel makes getting in and out of the XX very difficult, especially for a tall guy like me. Maybe this doesn't matter to some, but it definitely matters to me. On the other hand, so does functionality, and the box of the XX is pretty impressive, in sport side-by-side -side terms anyway. It's the largest in its class with the highest cargo capacity of 300 pounds, and it's entirely functional. You can haul all the gear you could possibly need for a long day on the trail or even a short overnighter, or you can store a full-size spare tire and wheel combo inside, and in my opinion, it looks pretty cool. Overall, my verdict on this 2018 Wildcat XX is pretty straightforward. 
So much of it, most of it in fact, is so impressive and only a few things fall short. This Wildcat is purpose-built to perform and survive. From its double shear suspension mounts to its heavy-duty hubs and bearings, this thing can handle anything you can throw at it. Suspension and power are both class-leading. The exterior design is, it's just sexy and tough-looking. The only real low point is getting in and out, but that's not really that big a deal. Excellent seats and seating position, more legroom than any other pure sport side-by-side. -side. The more time I spend inside the Wildcat XX, the more I find to like and appreciate about it. In my opinion, this thing is an absolute home run for Textron. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Can-Am, we're built for this. And by Textron Off-Road, power, performance, and precision engineering. Thanks for watching this segment of Dirt Tracks TV. For more great content, make sure you click the links or subscribe to our channel where we're always updating with new content every day throughout the week.